Welcome to Seedprod, the number one drag and drop WordPress website builder. In this video, I'm going to show you the absolute best way to add Vimeo videos to your WordPress websites. With Seedprod, you can create any type of website that you can imagine without ever writing a single line of code, and it has fantastic video options and customization. To grab your copy, head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. Inside of WordPress here, I already have Seedprod installed on the left hand side here. If you need help installing it, there's a link to a video in the description below as well. So first we need a website to work with. Let's go to Seedprod and let's come to Theme Builder and we have theme template kits to give us a head start. Here we can select one of the pre-made templates that come with Seedprod. So I'll pick this one for example and just simply hit the check mark. Great, now it'll show you all of the theme files that it just imported into your website with Seedprod. For example, here's your homepage, About Us, 404, etc. Make sure it's enabled in the top right corner here. If you like, you can go ahead and preview the website now. So this is the front page right here that we can see and it's a beautiful imported website. Let's go ahead and get a video inside of it. Now you can add video on any part of your website. I'm just gonna do it on the home page. So we'll click edit design for the home page. On the left hand side, we have blocks that we can import into the page just by simply grabbing one and dragging it in here. For each block, you can click on block settings and edit these on the left hand side. To delete, you just hit the trash can. So to add a Vimeo video to our website, let's go ahead and use the video block. In the top left here, let's search for video. And now we have two different blocks here, one called video for standard, and we have the video pop-up for advanced. Let's take a quick look at the standard. I'll just drag and drop it into the page. Here, let's click on the block settings. So this block is great to get a video into your site really quickly. We have the YouTube option. You just paste the URL. We want to add Vimeo, so you go to custom, and we'll have to add the custom video code here. I'll show you a better option though here right after this step. If we come over to Vimeo, I found a video and we wanna go ahead and share this by clicking share and there's the embed code. Let's go ahead and select this and I'm gonna copy this and come back to the other page. Here, I'm gonna paste this into the page and you can see this is now in here. Now, if you're happy with that, you can go ahead and save your page and you're all done. However, this makes it very hard to customize and you also need to know a little bit about the code here, but there is a better option. Let's go ahead and delete this and we'll come back and we'll actually use the video pop-up block. Let's drag this one instead. And now when we click on block settings and we have the source, we can actually switch to Vimeo. Simply paste your URL here for the Vimeo video that you wanna use. And now you can customize the start time if you like. So for example, if I want this video to start at 30 seconds, I can put in 30 and you can see that the player has moved. Let's minimize this and we now have video options. I can turn on the autoplay if I like. We have mute, loop, if you want the video to continuously loop. If you wanna show the player controls or not, you can turn those on or off. There's also a privacy mode here to turn on. YouTube and Vimeo will not store information about visitors on your website unless they play the video. We have the intro title that you can turn on, the intro portrait, if you want this on or not, the intro byline, and the control colors. For example, if I click here and change this to green, you can see that we customize the player buttons here with green. We can also enable sticky video. So if I turn this on, save and hit preview, we can come down the page and if you watch closely, it'll pop down to the bottom right hand corner. Now people can watch the video while they're browsing your website. Lastly, if we minimize this, we have image overlay. You can enable an image overlay by turning this on. Now you can use your own image that is uploaded here. So for example, if I select this image, you can see that that is replaced and you can come down and customize your player. You can also add a stock image here and this is built inside of Seedprod. So for example, if I search for WordPress, I can select this one and you can see that that's updated. Now if we come down, we have the play icon. It's kind of hard to see right now, but we can change that color or the opacity if we like. And I can click the color. Let's change that to a dark orange here or red. We can change the size if we like. And you can actually change the icon itself if you wish. So we can change a different icon here from the icon library. So if I select this one, you can see it has the round play button now. We can also lastly enable Lightbox. So if I turn this on and we play the video, let's take a quick look. You can see that it'll pop up in a nice light box here. And it's playing the video at the 30 seconds with our custom green color. To exit, there's an X up in the top right corner. And that's all there is to it. Using Seedprod to add Vimeo videos to your WordPress website makes it quick and easy with tons of customization options. If you found this video helpful, please hit like, leave a comment, and check out these videos to learn more about Seedprod. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.